All right. I think we should be good, but we'll see. Pretty sure we're ready to go, but we'll see. All right, so the way this is going to work is this is going to be a best of seven between these two players. Starting on Bedrock and ending on Bedrock, the players have said that there is no Node Strat, no Voridus. And each player gets one ban of for their opponent's leaders. In this case, Hetchy has banned Cutter, but Hetchy can still play Cutter himself. Whereas Liam has banned Yap Yap, so Liam can still play Yap Yap, but Hetchy cannot. I just joined their game, so Liam is a squad leader and will determine when we start the game, I guess. Chosen as leader. Hetchy is Sano, is that what this is? Sano. Liam is Yep Yep. Interesting choices, but nonetheless. Uh, Alright, so we have Hetchy over here in the in the blue playing as Sano and Liam on the opposite end. In red playing. Yeah. Now I think that he because he thinks it counters Yap Yap. Supply pack constructed. Sano doesn't really counter hardly anyone, and especially not on a map like Bedrock because the best thing Sano can usually do is grab a play. play. Watch tower play constructed. Infantry on a map like Enemy this, uh, Yap won't really be able to pressure too easily, but there's really little that Sano can do to pressure Yap uh, from just going to like two gen. Augmented harvester um, upgrade complete. Open to Marine. Uh, so he intends to try to buy his minis the problem is that if he ever gets stolen with this, that he's in a really bad spot, and unlike other leaders, Sano can't truly go for a gen second. We need power. Call in a generator. be fine, because he don't have game volumes too loud. Supply pad upgrade really. complete. Um. Mini base complete. No. I'm not gonna do that. Power extractor constructed! But it's gonna come back through if I listen to it. Our base is under uh, attack. Do, do, do. Oh, well, actually, I could just generator constructed. My desktop audio. That's this. There. That We're should be a little bit lower for you. Not too much, but a little bit. So he's. It's actually did the double heavy pad opener that he likes to do a lot, but that means that Liam is just gonna get absolutely all the power. So 400 power to the arrow is coming into a straight two gen. It's probably read? the easiest way for Liam to Supply follow pad this constructed. There's really nothing Hetchy can do about it because he won't have any power. He won't be able to upgrade this generator for forever. Mini base constructed. Um, and because he can't upgrade the generator, the only thing he can do is get a second Our base gen. Is under he's attack. just gonna have much less of everything Supply else pad constructed. has to spend more blue early just to get yellow. And Liam's gonna be on tech two before Hetchy can even probably afford grenade throw. But keeps doing it, so we'll see. Can't hear me over the war. Okay, wow, um, interesting. I've decreased the audio again. Oh, the leader voices. Oh, okay. Yeah, let Our me just adjust that. Attack. No, no, it's a keyboard. It's uh, audio. The voice volume. Yeah, sure. Nice and quiet. 
quieter and I, I made everything a lot quieter so hopefully the balance should be uh, appropriate now I just try to send a marine around the outside but it's not gonna get anywhere in time does he have a watchtower and he does uh, but realistically yeah I should just have a fodder for this free instead of spending a hundred but whatever it doesn't matter okay we are grabbing a node okay and he does mine that other node which is pretty nice so uh, Hetchy's going to be forced to go elsewhere if he wants to get anything done. Do we have choppers producing yet? Let's figure that one out. Uh, okay, so no chopper. But we do have a raid camp and we are playing heavy grunt. Uh, it is double mine instead of wagons and this is going to be red line. So it's going to be red line, marines, and snipers. Uh, another problem is that Hetchy's going to have a real problem if Liam plays into marauders on tech 2. But if he doesn't, then well, he might be okay. If he spams enough sniper, that is. Uh, having these uh, generators, generators up for Hetchy is nice, but he just finally gets his first generator upgraded, which really just shows just how far apart they are. Liam's already almost tech two right now, as you as you would expect. Uh, Hetchy's finally getting his first node, and it looks like he lost a marine to that mine on the way over. Uh, Liam's got pretty good map vision. He's buying this expo. I'm not sure that he can truly hold this expo if Hetchy all units to it right now. However, he, I don't think he's in any danger whatsoever. Him going right for this foundry is nice, but him not building on this back mini base is definitely going to hurt him a bit because that blue income is always very important. But the Mara I, I think the foundry is absolutely the correct call. Being able to make some marauders out here while your opponent's just stuck on tech one is, is pretty good. Especially when it's Sano, they don't have their their hero isn't gonna just start jacking your early marauders and UNSC stuck on tech one does not want to see marauders. That's literally the worst thing for them to see. Okay, cool. Alrighty, nope, we're going to double foundry. It's a little bit hard to afford, but we'll see how it works out for him um, because he did expo. It's probably a little early for this, just given that he. Yeah, you can barely afford to, to pump as it is, and if you're trying to continually build supply pads, you don't usually have product uh, have the eco to, to really do this just yet. Our base is under attack. So you can see that he's struggling on the eco. However, his being so far ahead on tech over Hetchy is just so huge. Like, Hetchy might have the pop, but he, I mean, he's got grenade there, but he doesn't have... <laughs> The ability to really fight this and it's a great ram into a beam in the choke point with the marauder helping out cleaning it up completely now that he now liam should be able to just completely dominate the map and, and there really shouldn't be much that you can actually do to him considering he's already got the expo up and secured at this point uh there really is no pressure this at this point it's just about building up and getting into that yap ball that there's really nothing you and can do anything about Alrighty. Good to see you too, man. Yeah, it's been a bit. I've been uh, just been busy with other things, but you know, I got I found the time. They asked me to cast, and so I figured, why not? Let's go for it. All right, uh, Liam's building up that expo. He needs to keep building on that to keep getting it growing. Uh, got a bunch of rangers with the marauders. Let's see what uh, Hedgy's options are when he hits into tech two. I think he's gonna play CT. He always plays CT, even if it's not a good idea. But at this point, I don't think there is a good option for him. Potentially making his hero and trying to cause trying to force mistakes is probably what I would imagine is the best play at this point, but With such a late tech two against such <laughs> Against a yap yap on an expo. I, I just don't really feel like there's much you can do Especially considering that uh, Liam's already passed them up on population and at this point Liam doesn't really have hardly any fodder So yeah, chasing down these marines with the marauders, there's really nothing he needs to do. He's just going to continue to get ahead on army and just be able to hold all these nodes. Him not taking this node back, though, might hurt him a bit. You don't want to ever let the UNC have any more power than they deserve. Nope, Liam's starting to get in uh, War Council up, going for his heroes. That's pretty good. Uh, he's upgraded four pads now. So four pads, uh, four heavy pads is pretty decent eco. So that's pretty nice for him. He... This node is not getting captured, but I think that just glitched. He was trying to clear it and capture it, but it happens sometimes. And the hog drop goes down onto the main for Hetchy. However, there's already two marauders in that turret. Uh, this hog drop isn't really 
too fantastic. Because it does have red line, it is technically a little bit more building damage than regular hogs, but three hogs against the turret and two marauders is not good regardless of what leader you are. And these these hogs are significantly worse against vehicles. Uh, no cancel on that turret, so he will get some leader point progress for killing that turret. And there's a few ways that Liam can approach this when it comes down to uh, closing out Consano and not worrying about like losing your huge lead to an Inferno. And that is either he makes a bunch of engineers to go with it or he adds, uh, or it just keeps his Yap heroes at home and adds like a Ford upgrade or something. Uh, usually the engineers are the way you play on Banish. Doesn't really matter too much. There's no army to back it up, so it's not like it can truly get stripped. Uh, one Marauder a little too close to those turrets, but Liam is clearing out those back mini bases. Hetchy's continuing to be annoying with a Flamer and a Marine on either of the minis. This Marauder just barely out of range. No, don't think really Liam sees it. Nope, he does move over now. So well, then Hetchy tries to move again to continue being annoying. He is getting combat tech, so he finally has combat tech, but there are no production structures up whatsoever, so he's entirely relying on Marines and drops. It's going to be a tough sell. Uh, ooh, this grunt, heavy grunt, just just barely not strong enough to clean that node out. Unfortunate. Then continuing to build more and more Marauders, having good maps, uh, great map vision on all of the expansions, except for that last one there. Uh, but sees it and should be able to easily deny it, no issues whatsoever. Uh, I believe he's going to use his Yap Heal on that supply pad to keep it healthy. Uh, and deny the uh, flamer from killing it. It's always interesting to see how much a Yap heal can heal a building because it tends to be pretty inconsistent. Uh, you never really know because the lag greatly increases the amount of times the Yap heal activates, which is unfortunate. I've tried fixing it multiple times and haven't been able to because of that. Can't seem to replicate the lag conditions to make it activate multiple times, but maybe that's the problem with playing on local games. He got an annoying marine on this mini over here. He's got a raid camp, but it's not really needed at this point. Between the Yap heroes, he's got two hunters, which is nice. That'll help him clear out the tank from a big drop. But uh, between the Reavers, the three Yap goblins, and the uh, and the Marauders here, between a Grunt Dome and a Beam, he'll lose absolutely nothing, and he probably won't lose anything anyways with just good Yap heals, even, even if the big drop goes right on his face. Are we going to clear the node as we cross it? No, he looks like he just wants to get up to the main base. That's totally fine, too. It's not like he really needs it, and she's not in a position to take it from him. Kinsano Hero Tech 2 already comes out. I guess he didn't have the money to uh, pay for the hero initially, so he just upgraded it instead. Anti-vehicle on that turret is going to be a bit problematic for him, unfortunately, normally. Uh, that would be helpful. Oh, and never mind. He's got three small, three uh, regular unupgraded turrets, anyways. That'll be fine. Uh, what I was going to say is that uh, anti vehicle has the least amount of building damage of any of those turrets. So, in terms of dropping a grunt dome, it's the worst. But the unupgraded turrets definitely do the best at dropping a grunt dome. Uh, that is an interesting location for the big drop. I guess he's trying to use it to help him with defense, but. And it will pick off some of those reinforcements. The killing two Marauders is great. Any Marauders you can kill is always important. I believe we saw Fort 1 from Liam. Uh, but we're getting a third gen now. And we don't have any Engineer. So that still can be annoying. He's got a third base coming up, which is really great. Are we trying to grab that node again. We'll see if it, he actually can. That two-star tank is being a monster and taking out. Took out a Hunter and I believe a Ranger there. Marauders going for that back mini, and we have Yap drop. Two anti-vehicle turrets, and the Yap here is coming back in. Those Reavers should probably not be in there. They're just going to get focused down, and you can't even out-heal them. But even then, I don't think he becomes vulnerable to the Hornet, with especially with the type of army that he's got. What is Hetchy doing? Hetchy's going to come back to defend. The hero is still on the map. Doesn't really help too much here. It's hard to really compete with the amount of eco that Liam's able to get himself in this game when you're only on a single base and no nodes, or one node rather. All right, let's see. Yeah, Liam's finally uh, cleaning up that last mini of his opponent. He has 100 pop paid. Uh, he's already on. He's upgraded to 100 pop and doesn't have the space to fill it. 
or the resources to fill it just yet. Uh, Hetchy's just banking money, not like he can really do anything else when you're stuck on a single base with no production. Uh, Yap, uh, using your heals and just pretty much running out of the Kantano Flame Wall. It's very strong. You're probably going to catch that one hero. Uh, but those other two heroes getting away, or... Or are they going to get away? Uh, it's probably pretty good for him. He's probably pretty happy about that. It's still a reasonable trade because this Yap Goblins should be able to trade with at least uh, probably that Flamer if it gets one more Shard Storm. Nope. Doesn't get it. I will say though, I think there's still pretty much too too much production, uh, not too much production, too much uh, eco for Hetchy to overcome. No minis, all you have is a Kansano hero, you've used your big drop, you've used your hog drop, you don't have like a double flame drop or anything like that. And the only thing he's going to get next is Inferno, but Liam's already on three base with the minis, like even if he can strip the whole main base, it's not going to, I don't think it's enough. To overcome at this point it's too far behind it was an interesting choice of going Kansano on bedrock but Kansano is usually considered one of the worst leaders so it's, it's I think it's a I think it's a hard decision to make but at this rate he, he Liam has burned Yap yet and Hatchy hasn't really burned any like really strong leaders which is I guess another way to look at it especially considering it's gonna be a best of seven here awesome Sending his hero to clear out that mini base. He kills the pad and then Liam sacks the, the mini itself. He didn't buy that back one, so Hetchy was able to pick it up. And Hetchy cleared out that side. He's getting tech 3 right now. So he's got tech 3 up. Uh, two gens, all, all eco. So he needs to get an armory back up. So it's probably probably just going to be a tech 3 hero. And then Condor and Gales. It's not like there's anything else that can be done. But there's no 3 gens, so affording a Condor probably not going to happen. Uh, is it Wraith or Marauder from Liam? Liam is getting tech 3 now, so you're just going to keep going Marauder. It'll be interesting to see if he just grabs thick hide or if he starts trying to switch into Wraith. Both will be totally fine here. He's just too far ahead for anything to matter. Hetchy will never be able to secure an expo because Liam's army is too big. Uh, we're just dragging the game out. Well, there's not much energy to bring at this point. He's just dragging the game out. This game is over. And this game is super over. Like, like Liam has to, like, put the controller down and walk away <laughs> for, for this to even remotely come back. I'm, I don't want to hype this up. There's nothing happening. Like, if he stays in fights with those Marauders, he, he wins that fight. But if he pulls into these turrets, then he can lose some of them. And thanks, like Biscuit. Look, I'll bring more energy when, when they bring more energy. How's that? Oh, Inferno coming down on defense against the big drop. But it's not going to be enough. The big drop will pretty much just run out of it. I think he loses one heavy grind. Looks like he's going to lose a rider, but Hedgy taps out. There's really nothing he can do. <laughs> There's just no eco. I mean... That game was over pretty early just on starting build.